Hi, I'm Erin Halligan. I'm a sophomore computer science student here at Oklahoma State University. I'm on it. Welcome to the OSU Department of Computer Science, a place where you'll receive cutting edge training with state of the art equipment. We offer practical skills today for the professionals of tomorrow. At OSU's computer science program, you can learn languages like C++, Java, and Python. A computer science degree is very math dependent. As a computer science student, you will take Calculus 1, 2, and 3 and other math courses. If you do not start Calculus 1 your freshman year, you can still make progress in the program and we can help get you ready for all the math involved with your degree. Our advisors are always here for you. Some students shy away from the math courses, but they get it done so they continue pursuing what they love. One way to sharpen your math skills is with the help of the Mathematics Learning Success Center, or MLSC for short. At the MLSC, they can help with any math course, any problems, and they can also help you study for any exam. The services at the MLSC are freely available for all OSU students. CAS has various computer labs available for you as a student all over campus, and while having a personal computer will definitely be helpful, it is not mandatory to be able to succeed in the CS program. Students can be successful with a PC or a Mac in this program. Hi there, my name is Blaine Mayfield. I'm on the faculty of the Department of Computer Science here at OSU, and welcome to the Interactive Digital Entertainment, or as we like to call it, the IDE Lab. Now, what do we mean by interactive digital entertainment? Well, in reality, the biggest piece of that is video games. But if you say video games, then people don't take you very seriously. So we like the other thing. What do we do in this lab? Well, we look at taking newer cutting edge technologies and applying them to interactive digital entertainment. So for example, maybe we use the motion capture system that we have here in the room to capture students acting out some cutscene for a video game. Maybe we apply the virtual augmented and mixed reality equipment that we have in the lab so that we can uh, create more immersive games and entertainment opportunities. Or maybe we apply the artificial intelligence special computers that we have here in the room so that we can have the games recognize and identify objects within this vision of the viewer. So we have, this is where all the fun takes place in computer science. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stop by and visit. Uh, give me a call, send me an email, and I'd be happy to show you the lab. And who knows, maybe we can find a project for you in this lab. I also do mobile app development, and we have a lab full of 27 inch iMac computers which we use for many uses, but primarily for doing mobile app development. Again, if that's something that would interest you, I hope you'll contact me. We can come up with a project that will be interesting, novel, and cutting edge, and we can get you plugged in. CS students have access to a multi-purpose space. You can come and study here on your own or in groups. We have a microwave and coffee maker available for you to use. Everyone in the computer science community is welcome here, undergraduate and graduate students, as well as faculty come in host group meetings or informal study groups. And there is We Present equipment available for use during these meetings. Here you will also find a teaching assistant or TA that can assist you with your first computer science course, CS1113. Our TA has specific hours when you can come in and get help with the Java language that you learn in class or any course questions that you might have. MSCS is a fantastic meeting place for all CS students. I'm a sophomore computer science student here at OK State. I really like how my courses and professors go in depth with each subject so I know how each thing we learn connects to how I can apply it in real life. I'm thinking about going into smart technology and design and my classes have shown me how to break a problem down into small pieces so I can come up with solutions. I've worked in the computer lab downstairs, and I'm also a tutor in the MLSC, which helps students work with math problems. I love math. I love helping people with math, so it was like a great opportunity to combine uh, those two opportunities in the MLSC. I would advise incoming computer science students to come in with an open mind. Computer science is so many things, so don't be afraid to look around and see what really sparks your interest.
MSCS 108 is a big computer lab space that students can come and use to prepare for class or complete homework or group projects. This lab is also attached to one of your computer science classes, CS1113. In this lab, you will always find a computer science graduate assistant that can help with Java coding, which can be challenging at times. Our graduate students are here as extra support for you to be successful as you advance in the program. In the robotics lab, graduate students are able to work with robots to conduct a variety of research experiments. This lab is also tied to the robotics class, where you learn how to operate the turtle bots. Here's one of our graduate students, Habib, explaining some of the robots and their purpose in research. Uh, I work on robotics and making a robot understand where it is in the board and create a map around it. And also Dr. Craig uh, has a class about robotics, which we work with these robots that can play football with each other. We call them turtle bots. We also have a robot there. Uh, this robot can uh, talk like humanoid robots and also can uh, be used for manipulation, some arms and these kind of stuff. In this lab, you can also conduct work on artificial intelligence which is some of what Ressa and Alam are doing as part of their research. Uh, my research is mostly on natural language processing. Our work are separated in two parallel uh, research areas. One of them is uh, robotic and the other part is artificial intelligence. Uh, so I think it's a very rewarding project and I'm so grateful to be uh, in this lab. I hope you enjoyed your tour. We're so excited to welcome you here in the Cast Cowboy family. Don't forget to connect with us through social media with the hashtag Cast Cowboys.